Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at the brand new fall collection from Light Elegance called Spice. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the color collection. We've got I Clove You, Holy Habanero, Curion, Cinnamon Stick, Simmer Down, and Well Seasoned. So this is definitely a fall look right here. So let's start with I Clove You. And I Clove You is a creamy milk chocolate brown. This looks yummy. <laughs> nice and smooth like Light Elegance does it and look how this swatches. It's so creamy and smooth. I know I've been saying that a lot in my videos but it really is. I would put this on in two layers just to get that full opaqueness but a very nice brown for fall. Light Elegance did have another brown. It was called Furs and Dames and that one was a little bit darker and it had a shimmer in it. I really liked that color. This is nothing like it but I thought I would mention the other color too because Light Elegance doesn't have have a whole lot of browns. And this is what I Clove You looks like. A really pretty chocolate brown. Like I said earlier, perfect for fall. This would look great with some rose gold glitter accent. Just a really pretty fall color. So the next color we're gonna take a look at is Cinnamon Sticks. And Cinnamon Sticks is a shimmer. And I'm thinking this is like a cinnamon color. <laughs> it, I, no, it's. I don't think it's a cinnamon color. I think it's more on the maroon burgundy side with that beautiful shimmer in it. This one is a lot like Furs and Dames with that shimmer but not so much in color. This is gorgeous. Look how easy this is to apply. And this is what cinnamon sticks looks like after two thin layers. You could get away with only putting one layer on. This is your classic fall look, I think. This is a color that would be my go-to color in the fall. So beautiful. So the next color we're going to look at is called Holy Habanero. And Holy Habanero is this beautiful red. And I'm thinking it leans on the coral side. I would call this a lipstick red coral. <laughs> it is so beautiful. And the camera is showing this true to life, which is always nice. And that just went on so easy, so smooth, so creamy, so luscious. This is a really pretty color. And this is Holy Habanero after two thin layers. I think this is a color that would go with every skin tone. Again, a really nice fall color and it's got that red tinge to it so I'm, I'm liking it. And the next color we're going to look at is called Curry On and this is a deep burnt orange. This is how I would describe it. Not a bright orange, not really a, like a Halloween orange, but a deep burnt orange. And I think Curry On is the perfect name for it. Curry Orange. And again, it is consistent with the other colors. It goes on in one to two thin layers. Very easy to apply. And all of these are pretty opaque and I didn't find any shadowing as I applied them to the swatch stick. And this is what Curry On looks like after two thin layers. A deep burnt orange is again how I would describe this. Now I am struggling with how I would use this color in a design on a set of nails. So help me out you guys. In the comment box let me know what you would use this orange for. This is a very unique color that Light Elegance has brought out for fall. Next color we're gonna look at is called Simmer Down and Simmer Down is a beautiful creamy burgundy. This is more in my comfort wheel of colors. <laughs> look how effortless this color goes on the swatch stick. So when you're doing this on a client's nails, it's gonna be even more effortless. Now, obviously I didn't have quite enough on my brush, but I like to go in with just a second thin layer and then cure it. Someone mentioned this technique to me in a nail group and it works wonderfully. 
and here simmer down after two thin layers. I think this is another color that would look good on any skin tone. This is such a stunning color. Beautiful. So I wanted to compare side by side cinnamon sticks and simmer down so you guys just get a feel for the difference in these two colors. Besides the fact one's a cream and one's a shimmer. <laughs> Okay, the next color we're gonna take a look at is called Well Seasoned, and this is a gorgeous deep blue. I would say this is in between a medium and dark blue. I would call this a dark denim blue. It is stunning. And here's well seasoned after two thin layers. This again went on really, really nice. And I don't find that there is shadowing or streaking with this color. And I, I don't know what else to say. It is beautiful. You could pair it up with some purple and pink loose glitters if you are feeling a little spicy. <laughs> okay, bad pun. <laughs> Let's take a look at the glitters now. I'm excited to see what these look like. So the first one we'll take a look at is called Feisty and Spicy. And look at how beautiful this is. This glitter really surprised me. I thought it was going to be more of a deep denim blue color, but it's not. It's got some aqua color in here, some turquoise, some deep blue. It is very, very stunning. And it's very easy to apply. The glitters are quite fine, but I would build this up into two layers. And this is what feisty and spicy looks like after two layers. So with two layers, it does get a little bit more opaque, which is what I like, but I didn't find it to become bulky after curing. So that was really nice. And I think if you wanted to do a full coverage nail, you could with two thin layers. So the next glitter we're gonna look at is called Jive and Ginger. And this is what Jive and Ginger looks like. I can't tell if this is a red or a burgundy, but whatever it is, it is beautiful. And again, this does apply the same way as Feisty and Spicy did. It just goes on so nice. I love Light Elegance glitters. They really know how to do their glitters. And here's what Jive and Ginger looks like after two thin layers. The opacity really builds up when you do two layers. Like I said in the with the last glitter, such a gorgeous wine color. I would wear this on all 10 nails for sure. Okay, and the next glitter gel is called Paprika. This is a stunning glitter gel. This is like fire in a pot. It is beautiful. It's like a burnt orange, deep burnt orange with maybe some dark red. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning glitter gel. And here's paprika after two layers. This is what I would also call a paprika red. That's perfect for it, or paprika orange. It's such a deep color and definitely I would wear this. This is a 10 finger gel for sure. <laughs> I love this, I, it's so mesmerizing. I could look at it forever. Okay, I'm excited for this glitter gel. Look at this one, smoking hot pepper. This is a black glitter gel. I don't have a black glitter gel in my collection at all. Now I know Light Elegance has done colors like, I think it's called Galaxy. It's an older color. I know that they do have some black glitter gels in their lineup, but I don't have any of them, just this one. And I am in love with it. So it is a black 
glitter gel, but it's got flecks of uh, silver, obviously, but there's some magenta or fuchsia in there. I even saw some purple and I don't know if it's blue. Definitely it is a multicolored glitter gel and very fine glitter and it does look like pepper, if you will. So stunning. I am so excited for this glitter gel. So the next glitter gel we're gonna take a look at is called Poppy Seed and this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful medium to deep purple glitter gel and there's different shades of purple in here and again it goes on so nice you could get a nice opaque look with two thin layers and I could just watch gel being stirred for ages it is so hypnotizing relaxing <laughs> And here's what poppy seed looks like after two layers. You can spice these colors up if you want. Add some chunkier glitters to them, like with what I'm wearing. Uh, loose glitters, some fuchsias, some blues, some golds. You could do anything with this or just wear it on its own. It is stunning enough for all 10 fingers. And the last glitter gel we're gonna look at is called Shake Your Salt Shaker. Say that 10 times fast, that's a tongue twister. Okay, now this glitter gel surprised me. I thought it was going to be a little bit more red, but it is this gorgeous champagne rose gold glitter gel. It is absolutely stunning. And the camera is not picking up how beautiful this glitter gel really is. This one definitely took my breath away when I first opened it. It is gorgeous. And here's what Shake Your Salt Shaker looks like after two layers. Okay, I had to read what's on the label of the lid to be able to say that without getting my tongue tied into knots. But look how gorgeous this is. You could wear it on its own. You could spice it up with some other loose glitters. Okay, let's recap. So here is the new collection from Light Elegance called Spice, a gorgeous fall collection. I'm really impressed. I like the softness of the fall colors yet they're not too deep they're not too soft they're right in the middle so as for the color collection i like all six of them now the curry on is not my favorite color and i am struggling to imagine what i would use it for having said that i do think that that color belongs in the collection because it is a fall color so tell me what you guys think do you think you'll be picking this collection up and what are your favorite colors and glitters gels in this collection i want to know so comment down below and as always don't forget to follow me on all my social media and we will see you in the next video bye guys